This is Lesson 25 Homework, Module 7, Grade 2. Write your name. And we're going to use the data in the charts provided, there's a chart right here, to create line plots and answer the questions. The chart shows the lengths of the necklaces, length of necklaces, made in arts and crafts class. So we've got a line plot to draw. Here's our line already drawn for us. Uh, the title can be lengths of necklaces. Length Links of links links of necklaces. I mean, we could make a longer title if we wanted to, but that's probably long enough. Uh, our line plot. We could start right. It's going to go from 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. It doesn't skip any measurements. It goes from 16 to 24. Uh, so we want to start at, we can just start at 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. And keep them far enough apart so there's some space in between the numbers. This is about as close as you want to have it so that they just don't, if you put them too close, it'll all look like one long number when you label your, your spots. So give enough room in between so that you can tell which, what, what the numbers are so they don't all look like one long number. And this is our line plot and this is all in inches. Uh, so let's see, we're counting necklaces, 16 inch necklaces, there are three of those, so that's going to take one, and these hash marks, I should be careful that they don't take the places of X's, so they shouldn't stick up too far and take the place of an X. So 16 is going to be three, one, two, three. 17 has zero, so I'm going to skip it. 18 has four. One, two, three. That should be even with the other three, and then one more, four. 19, there aren't any of those. 20, there's eight of those. 20 has eight. One, two, three, Four, and it should be about even with that four, five, six, seven, eight. Twenty-one, there aren't any. Twenty-two, I notice that the, these are all even numbered lengths. So it makes me think about the necklaces. Why how, how come there aren't any that are an odd length, but they're all even numbers? Zero. So we're gonna go the next one is twenty-two, and there's nine of those. So it should be end up being a little bit taller than the eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's my sevens just eight. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Uh, this is supposed to be nine, so I'm gonna have to fix it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There, and then nothing here. And this 24 is gonna be 16 necklaces, it's gonna go like up to here. There's gonna be a lot of necklaces here. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs>
12, 13, 14, 15, 16 necklaces. This is way up there. How many necklaces were made? Well, we can just add up all these numbers. Or we can just count all the X's, one or the other. But I'm looking for some ways to make 10 here, and I see 16 and 4. That's 20. And I see an 8, an 8, and a 9, which is 17. And that's a 3. That's going to make another 20. So it's going to be pretty, these are pretty easy numbers to work with. That's a 20, and then 20 and 20, there's going to be 40 necklaces. And I make a conclusion about the data in this line plot. It looks like longer necklaces are more popular because the longer they get, the more students are making them. So I'm going to say uh, longer. Uh, Let's say students like longer necklaces. Students like longer necklaces. Because the longer the lengths are, the more kids make them. our first page and now we see another chart that shows the heights of towers students made with blocks so we got some kids who are who are making uh, towers out of blocks and we have blocks we have uh, towers of four different heights 15 16 17 and 18 inches tall and we, these are how many towers were made for Nine towers were 15 inches tall, six towers were 16 inches tall, two towers 17 and 118. So we'll say for our title, heights. I'm going to get it right from up here. Heights of towers students made. And the line plot, this is in inches, so I'm going to say here, inches, and we've got 15, 16, 17, and 18. So let's see, with 18, we're going to go a little bit backwards here, 18, that's one. 17 has two towers. 16 inches. There's six of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. And for 15, there's nine of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. How many towers were measured? We could just look at the table and add. We could count all the X's. Or we could look at the table and see if there's some easy numbers to add. I've got a nine and a one right here. So there's a 10. And that six and two makes an eight. So I'm looking at 10 plus eight, which is 18. So there are 18 towers in the line plot. What tower height occurred the most often? That's the tallest one. 15 inches. Don't forget the units. I am. If four more towers were measured at 17 and five more were measured at 18, how would it change how the line plot looks? Well, 
Well, let's see. I'm going to... I'm going to add something to this. I'm going to add those just to see what it looks like. But I want to make sure, I want to see, this is an if, so I want to say that these, I'm going to add circles to show what these extra ones would do, just so I can keep them different from the X's. But I need to add four more at 17. So I'm going to add circles instead of X's. One, two, because these weren't really measured. This is just an if. One, two, three, four. So then they would be the same as the 16. And five more were measured at 18. One, two, three, four, five. And now look at this. I mean, you could also have figured it out by looking at the chart, right? So if you had four more 17s, you could have looked at that. And saw that that's going to be a six and then five more at 18 so that's going to be a six and you could just look at the table you could have done it that way too you just look at the table and see six six and six and that that means they're they're all that would all be the same how would it change how the line plot looks uh, it would make 16, 17, and 18 inch towers uh, equal. draw a conclusion about the data in the line plot uh, I can look at this and I can say that uh, 15 is the largest one it looks like the shorter towers there's more short towers than there are long towers uh, I, I could to draw a conclusion about it I could say uh, well, how come usually people like to make taller towers? So maybe it's harder to make taller towers and get them to stand up without falling over. Um, but I can just say that um, there are difficult to know much more than, than that there are more shorter towers than taller towers. Anything more than that is really just guessing about things that we don't know. So there's a conclusion right there.